Good day. In this video, we're going to look at the proof of the term called theorem. In my system, called theorem 7, the theorems don't have numbers in the world. The term called theorem reads, the angle between the tangent to a circle and the chord drawn from the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Please remember, when you work with a tan in geometry, although ABC is the tangent, when you practically work, you start at C, go to B, and then up. Do not pass, it confuses the brain. You can also start at A, go to B, contact, and then up. Do not pass on a tangent, it confuses the brain. So C to B is a tangent, and B to A is a tangent, and yes, ABC is a tangent, but while we're working, we're just going to go from outside till we hit and stop, and then do something, or from outside till we hit and do something. If you look at the circle, you've got a blue segment and a yellow segment. So it says that the angle is formed between the tangent and the and the chord at the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment, opposite segment. Now having the ugly words out of the way, let's prove this theorem. We will do two examples of the proof. Here we go. This is what a question will look like if you have to prove it. They will give you this sketch and this information underneath. The information will be... Given a tangent ABC, so this is a tangent, you are required to prove that angle CBD is equal to BED. Now, whatever comes next is what you will write, is your proof. You will say, draw diameter BOF, I did it in purple here, and join EF, which I did in red here. It's always from F to the angle that you are proving to be equal, so you back to that blue angle. Then you write B1, the B1 over there, plus B2 equals 90 degrees. And your reason is tan perpendicular to radius. You can also write tan perpendicular to diameter. Then you'll write E1 plus E2 equals 90 degrees, angles in a half circle. There is the diameter, so those two angles together will be 90 degrees. Angles in a half circle or semicircle or angle on diameter. Then we write... B1 is equal to E1, so that angle over there is equal to that angle over there, angles in the same segment. Therefore, B2 is equal to E2, so the two blue angles are now equal. Then I write my final statement, what they originally asked me, CBD, the angle, is equal to the angle BED. Now they could give me this sketch. They still tell me over here, given tangent ABC, so that is still a tangent. And this time we require to prove angle ABE is equal to BDE. Again, we will first draw in diameter BOF, like I did here, and join FD. Like I said, you go from F always to the angle you're proving equal. In other words, the red one at D. Then you write B1 is equal to 90 degrees, tan perpendicular to radius, or you can say tan perpendicular to diameter if you want. You write D1 is equal to 90 degrees, so the angle there, blue, black, D1 is 90 degrees, angles in a semicircle is your reason. Then you write B2 is equal to D2, angles in the same segment. Then we write angle B1 plus angle B2 is equal to angle D1 plus angle D2. If you look at it, you can see they're going to be the same because they are the same in this respect. Then you just write it in the same way they asked us originally. We are required to prove ABE is equal to BDE. So you just write angle ABE is equal to angle BDE, the two red ones. Now the converse of the tan chord theorem we do not have to prove. I'm just reading it to you. It says if a line is drawn through the end point of a chord, making with the chord an angle equal to an angle in the alternate segment, then the line is a tangent to the circle. Now what you need to understand is if you have a triangle, no circle at all, and a line, straight line hitting it over here, and that angle there is equal to that angle, a circle will fit around and touch over here. And if that angle over there is equal to that angle over there, a circle will be that is touching over here, and that will be a tangent to that circle. And your abbreviated reason will be converse of the tan chord theorem, or angle between line and chord, which I don't like. Just again, if we have a triangle and we have a line touching at the one end and that angle is equal to that angle, you can say that E 
BD will be a circle with a tangent BC. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video. You can also subscribe to the channel. If there's any problem that you have in geometry, you can send a WhatsApp photo, a clear one, to this number and explain what troubles you. Then we will make a video and post it for free on this channel that everybody can benefit from your question. Enjoy geometry.